I I say. Okay, we're starting. Okay, tell me who I should get. Tell me who I should get. We have got Jackson Sheffield. I feel like we go go with Jackson, but then we got Natalia, Russian scientist. Ooh, what's she got? Okay, she's got a pistol. She got toilet paper. Always good in the pandemic. Yo, Dakos! How you doing, dude? Let me get some shoutouts going. Let me get some shoutouts. Dakos has started doing a lot of Minecraft lately, but he does a lot of um, uh, Pokemon stuff as well. I'm not sure if you do stuff like Nuzlocke challenges, but yeah. Yeah, um, we're playing Pathway. We're playing Pathway. We're just trying to get our, our heads around this whole thing. Um, yeah, this game looks crazy deep. I'm already looking at like how long the stream has gone, and I'm thinking, oh no, do we really have to cut it? We might, but this is... I, I'm having fun just looking at this. This is, this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. I feel like we're going to be doing this game for quite a while. And then we have Prince Omar Abu Al Jarabi, an Arabian art collector. What's he? What's this? Needle and thread. Ooh, what are you having for lunch, huh? Sandwich. He does have the snipe, doesn't he? No, no, that's shoddy. Okay. And a combat vest. Hmm. Baron von B. German gentleman imposter. <laughs> Capable sniper. I feel like we gotta go with Baron. Baron looked legit. Hmm. Look, we'll see how we go, Life. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I feel like we gotta go with... Well, what's, he, what's he got? I mean, that looks... Hell yeah. I feel like we gotta go... And look, this is not being sexist, but I feel like we gotta go with Jackson. I feel like we gotta go with Baron. Who's this guy? Captain Luis Piranha Pereira. Brazilian steamboat smuggler. Ah. I haven't looked at the stats, by the way. I'm just looking at, like, their name and, like, what they're doing. Hmm. Not done a Nuzlocke on stream, but a few years ago. To be honest, if I won a challenge, wouldn't be doing Pokemon. True, true. Taking a break from Pokemon at the moment, but we'll get back into... Get back onto XD, Gale of Darkness, eventually. Okay. Cool, cool. All good. Yeah, like, um... It's the same deal with me and Gone Son. Like, I was doing that for so long, and I'm like, this is a great game with a great community, but I was like, you know, we gotta, we gotta have a bit of separation. Gone Son, you know, it's in my heart, but yeah. I found out the game's sound problem. It is only coming through on the right side of my headphones, which I usually don't have on my ears, so I can get, okay. That's true. Number one priority, them kids. You don't want them stabbing one another. <laughs> yes, yes, Gone Sun The Lost Age is a great game. I feel like it is superior to the original. Um, yeah. And we've got this dude here. Miguel Ignacio Caballero. Caballero. Spanish Civil War poet. Robust grenade expert strong versus the Nazis. He's got an assault rifle, a grenade, and... Ooh, okay. So here are... Once again, here are our choices. What skills does he have? He only has Daredevil. No, I, I wasn't happy with Daredevil, to be honest with you. Hmm. Let me just expand this... Bit so I can see the comments a bit clearer. Good, good. 
then we've got Natalia, a medical expert and an engineer both. She got two perks off the bat. Ooh, but you're kind of weak. Once I'm done, TLA. Yeah, once I've done the Lost Age. I'm gonna take a JRPG break, full stop. I feel that. Need a few months to prepare myself mentally before either uh, Dragon's Quest 11 or Bravely Default 2. Ooh, two great games coming up. I haven't played the original Bravely Default. That's on the bucket list. I really should play that. And Dragon's Quest, look, I, honestly, I just never got into it, but I know why it's so popular. Like, I think it was Dragon's Quest 5 or 6 for the Super Nintendo. And who did I watch? I watched someone play through that. Um, yeah, but anyway, like, that's a legit game. Um, but yeah, the newer ones... It's like with the Breath of Fire ones, like, the SNES games were just so good, but then, like, it, it progressed onto, like, PlayStation 2 and 3. And it's like, oh, Like, it's, it's just, it was just too much for me. Okay, Natalia is actually... Maybe. Omar? Omar, look, you, you don't have a chance in hell. He's a brute, ancient languages. Brute, also, but ancient languages, I don't... Mm. But, yeah, look, look, with only one perk, Jackson's out. Natalia, I think he's in. The Baron, please have two. Oh, no. What? Greedy? Oh, he finds more money. Oh. And he's going to be a funny... I was going to say the C word. He's going to be funny. Look, look, Baron's our boy. Look, he's going to be like... Uh, what, can we just drag him in there? Or... What's in it for me? Alright. <clears throat> Ooh, resilient. I'm not sure if that's like a big thing. Big game hunter. Again, I'm not sure that's a big thing. Survivalist. Ooh. Okay, that's probably not good. I don't... I mean... Anti-fascist. Fascist, sorry. Can't English today. 20% da 20 uh, So 120% damage, basically, to Nazis. Intimidation. Ooh, and and our boy Jackson, he had the assault rifle, but um, Miguel also has the assault rifle and grenade. I got stuck on a boss fight, fifty percent into original Bravely Default. Mm. Couldn't face the grind, so dropped it. Need to go back to it sometime though. No 3DS capture card though. I feel the pain of that. Our um, third game tonight, Gris, I was about 60 or 70% into that, and I dropped that. So I feel the pain. We're going to be staying that one um, fresh. Um, yeah. So our boy Baron's in there. Miguel. I feel like. Natalia, we need her. I feel like we need Natalia. But what are what about her stats? Are her stats really bad or are they decent? Bit on the low end her stats, but her intelligence is high, so she can level up pretty quick. I'm gonna do it. Alright, and then lucky last. Okay. This one I'll leave to chat. Whoever's still here. Jackson. Prince Omar Abu Al Jarabi. Captain Luis Purana Ferreira. Or Miguel Ignacio Caballero. I'll leave it up to chat. I don't want him to be chosen, <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't want him to be chosen.
Nothing's coming through on the chat, so I think we're gonna pick him. I think we're gonna pick him. Intimidation might be good as well. Whoa! Alright. We're doing it. This is our party. Baron Von B. German gentleman imposter. He's a sniper and he finds money. Good enough for me. It's like, this is... This is Costas. Natalia Shushkova. Russian scientist. Capable healer and fighter. She baits out the enemies, just like Simple in CSGO. I'm just kidding, Simple. I love you. You're the GOAT. And then we have Miguel Ignacio Caballero. Spanish Civil War poet. Strong versus Nazis versus. Let's do this then. Let's do this. Okay. Bullets. Okay. You take a break in a provincial backwater a few miles beyond Casablanca. This is the last outpost of civilization. Beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert. Morton is out there, somewhere. Morton. Okay. Somewhere in Morocco. Oh, we got our characters over here. Cool. And we got cash, fuel, ammo, supplies. You check your gear one last time and start the engine. Your journey begins. Nice. Alright. Should I do anything? Probably not. We already looked through the codex, we're fine. Got the Baron. Duh. We got that. No valuables, we got that. Everyone full health, obviously. We got their stuff. I think we're good. I think we're good. Look, if we die, we die. <laughs> Done. Left click on a green location and travel there. Going there will consume one fuel. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, now, can we see the whole map? Okay, okay. Okay, that's the, the, the big destination, I think. Okay, well, rest there. This is like a location that's like, ooh, have a look here. It could be something. So we want to find the shortest distance, too. And that looks like some yum-yum. No, that's a trader. That's a trader. Okay. I guess we have to get closer and then it changes. Okay. Hmm. I think this one, obviously. There's no point in going there, there, in my opinion. Because we just want to get as fast as we can. doesn't really matter though, does it? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, it's gonna be shorter. A single sheep passes near your jeep. After a quick stop, you drive off. Hello, sheep. Can't do anything. You hear the drone of propellers long before you see the menacing silhouettes of the plane in the sky above you. You crane your necks, but you cannot make out any markings. The plane arcs past in wide circles before finally turning off and disappearing into the clouds. Left click on the bar at the bottom of the thing, open up the screen. Why? We're looking for fuel or something? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I feel. 13. Maximum 25. Okay, good to know. Found Fuel found during events or at um, merchants in exchange for money. Sure, sure, sure. Alright. Good, good, good to know. We are going here. You come, across, uh, you come upon a fortified German military camp with barbed wire, sandbags, and machine gun nests. The place is like a small fortress. At the edge of the camp, you see a fuel depot and a small fleet of vehicles. Mmm. Nazis. In the middle of the camp, you see several towering radio antennas. There's no doubt about it. You have come across a local German headquarters. Sneaking into this well-guarded complex seems like a hopeless endeavor. Okay, so if you're a daredevil, you could try that option, but it'll probably end up being bad. Attacking like a fortress at this stage of the game? That sounds really dumb. We're gonna withdraw. Okay, now we're right next to a, a, an unvisited location, a point of interest. I was thinking of going down here, but let's let's do that first. A shepherd's village. Even from a distance, you can see that something is wrong in the village ahead of you, so you approach cautiously, using the low walls for cover. Oh dear. Your instincts did not deceive you. A group of German soldiers have occupied the village and are rounding up its inhabitants. Okay. You could just straight up attack or you could try the, the trickster. This option uses a character perk. It generally yields a positive outcome, but in some instances it may result in unexpected situations. I think we're gonna... The Baron is gonna shine. Baron Costins. Before you can stop him, Baron calmly strolls up to the Germans. He waves one of the officers over imperiously. You hear fragments of an angry German conversation, but you have no idea what is being said. A few minutes later, the Germans jump into their vehicles and speed away. That's right, he's like a German imposter. Costin Imposter. When Baron returns, he smiles smugly. An urgent secret mission. I'm afraid I can't tell you the details. Need to know. Hope you understand. The Germans forgot a supply crate in their hurry. Yay! Left click to open and click on your loot to take it with you. Either individually or take all. Right? Yoink! Yoink! Ooh! Take all items. I don't know where they went. Couldn't oh, wait, we'll show up in here. Maybe we'll show later. Maybe we'll show later. Continue. XP? Ha ha. You explain to the suspicious peasants that it was all just a trick. You are not in league with the Germans. The village elder thanks you profusely. Then he points despondently at the village well. The soldiers destroyed our well. Help us or our livestock will die of thirst. You peer into the well shaft and realize that it has been blown up by a German hand grenade. We have someone that can repair, I think, uh, her. Natasha. Natalia? Natalia. We're doing it. 
Natalia nods and starts giving orders. Support beams are hauled into place, winch is installed, and the well is dug out again. It is not long before the well is at least operational again. The village elder is overjoyed. We are deeply in your debt. Take this gift as a token of our gratitude. The foreign soldiers searched for it without success, but we give it to you gladly. Aww. What could it be? Chimpokumon. Ooh, ornate blue ceremonial crown. Legendary. Oh. Can I wear that? Well, anyway, continue. As you are about to leave, an old, dignified looking man approaches, chanting a strange prayer. You are not sure what to make of it, but you feel inspired and stronger than ever. Party strengthening ritual. Okay, we got a buff. Hell yeah! 